Kevin, only three of the five eligible appearing. Why is that? Well, pretty simple. Uh, the perceived front runner, Pierre Polyev, and also a top contender as well, uh, Leslin Lewis, have said to the party, no, we're not going to show up. I mean, for Pierre Polyev, uh, he certainly feels that, uh, you know, this is not something that he wants to do. Uh, Leslie Lewis said that she didn't like, she wanted to get more uh, information about the questions that were going to be asked. Uh, both have events in different parts of the country. Polyev is in Saskatchewan, where uh, Leslie Lewis is in Prince Edward Island. So certainly both of these candidates now face the risk of a $50,000 fine that actually comes out of a deposit they uh, gave to the party when they started the race. And it leaves three other candidates, Jean Charest, Roman Baber and Scott Aitchison to have this roundtable debate that's going to be moderated by the party president. Uh, so obviously this does cause a little bit of a, a rift here. This is the final debate that conservative members will get a chance to hear the different ideas and policy objectives of the uh, various candidates. And uh, they're going to get that in English and French. It's a 45-minute split debate half in English, half in French. Of course, Jean Charest, the former Quebec premier, would seemingly have a decided uh, advantage over former Huntsville mayor and current MP Scott Aitchison and, uh, and you know, a former um, uh, Ontar a provincial uh, Ontario politician, uh, Roman Baber, who uh, was, uh, you know, not really known for his French either. So uh, it's certainly a different debate, Jen, one that will give uh, the the party a chance to have another um, showcase event for this leadership uh, race uh, and one that uh, party leadership says members asked for. Right. Well, a, a percentage of the members asked for, Kevin, as we've discussed in the past. But just quickly, what do these three need to do to resonate with members of the party? Because it appears they're fighting, you know, against the wave of support for Pierre Polyev, who, to your point, isn't even going to be there. Right. And, you know, Pierre Polyev also would seem from recent finance information released from Elections Canada is uh, far and away leading that race, too, in terms of the bucks, dollars and cents. So uh, definitely this is an opportunity now for Jean Charest, who's, uh, you know, certainly perceived as someone who's uh, there to challenge Polyev, not just in terms of getting votes, but also ideologically in terms of the future of the party. Uh, Polyev, uh, you know, promising a, a lot of, uh, you know, more populist ideas, let's say, that, you know, advocating towards freedom, of course, known for supporting the freedom convoy when uh, the trucking protest did come to Ottawa. Uh, Jean Charest has said that that's, you know, something that he would not have supported because there were laws that were broken and you have to stick up for law and order. But at the same time, you know, uh, Jean Charest has taken a lot of attacks from Polyev and has certain been, certainly been one of the main needle points for him in this race. Now, Leslie Lewis has said that you know she wanted to see more questions around the involvement of the World Economic Forum and uh, on abortion, which she says are uh, questions she gets more often at the door from conservative members. Okay, it's going to be interesting to watch. Senior political correspondent for CTV News Channel. Uh, well, actually, Kevin Gallagher filling in today. Appreciate it, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. And a reminder, we'll have special coverage of tonight's third conservative leadership debate beginning at 6 p.m. Eastern right here on the CTV News Channel.